Bom, 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 bom. Light. Ah. I come. I come. I come. I come. Daddy. I come. This is the extended capacity battery Daddy. and the car charger for the bell thing. Charger. Charger. I come. I come. Awesome. Um, what do you do today? Good. Yeah? The, um, day. Glad to be home? Yeah. Yeah. Tough day. Daddy, daddy. Mm -hmm. daddy, daddy. You like these goldfish crackers? Yeah. I'm pretty good. What bugs you, Ben? No. What bugs you? Dean. Dean bugs you? Yeah. I hear ya. Dean bugs me too. Well, I for one am very tired. Yesterday wore me out. I'm still uh, not completely done with programming those two radios for wonderful YouTube viewers such as yourself. But I figured I'd sit down and do something I've been wanting to do. No, yeah, the WTF Wednesday. Which is actually going to be like the WTH Thursday. Yep. All this is is me reading a news story or some stupid thing, and then I complain about what it is that, whoa, what it is that I've learned. So, first on the table, woman legislator turns the tables and introduces bill reg regulating men's reproductive health. Couple things. Just right off the bat, the title makes you think that it's it's something really gotcha, gotcha men right back at the patriarchy. In reality, what it is, is it's this Democrat from Ohio decided that in an act of protest, she was going to create a bill that basically required any man who goes to get erectile dysfunction, dysfunction medicine would have to seek a sexual therapist before having the prescription filled. So not only would you have to go to a doctor first, you then have to go to a therapist to, I don't know, get your head checked out. So I appreciate this representative's tongue-in-cheek comedy, and I want to believe that she's doing it mostly for comedic value. But I'll just read a little quote from her, and then we can talk about it. The men in our lives, including members of the General Assembly, generously devote time to fundamental female reproductive issues. The least we can do is return the favor. It is crucial that we take the appropriate steps to shelter vulnerable men from the potential side effects of these drugs. When a man makes a crucial decision about his health and his body, he should be fully aware of the alternative options and the lifetime repercussions of that decision. So obviously, this is meant to poke at the whole Planned Parenthood thing and the issues going on with that. And if you put the politics aside on that for just a second, let's discuss this for what it really is. It's a representative who's proposing to get more involvement from the government into your private dealings with doctors, right? There is nothing right now in place that requires doctors to be involved with prescriptions regarding erectile dysfunction medicine. If anything, what we should all have is no involvement from government or anything else like that involved in doctors and pa patients seeking the thing that they find, they find to be the most beneficial. So what this really does is it creates a whole other additional level of oversight on top of what we already have for oversight regarding abortion. That's a whole new bunch of jobs that the government has to fill that they shouldn't even be paying for, that we taxpayers should not be paying for, right? That's what I think. Okay, and in the WTF palm slap of the day, or the week for Thursday, a local community spat over who's going through your trash. I'll just read the conversation. A lot Trash picking hoarder lady in black truck loaded trash on Martha, this is a street, this morning. She did not sort, just lifted the entire black trash can over the side of her truck and dumped the contents into the back. If Cerritos cares about enforcing the law prohibiting people from stealing mail, then they seem not to enforce it with this woman. She does this all over the city every trash day. What can be done? 
I understand that this is a law in some cities. I get that. But what then follows is a cavalcade of people coming out in support of this frustration of people taking other people's trash. And let me just read you some of the highlights. It makes no sense. They let it continue. They being the police. What if we all started going through each other's trash? How about the identity theft thread? Aren't, aren't the city and waste company working together and making people feel they are secure throwing their trash out? This is not right and it has been going on for way too long. Why would waste companies care if you feel secure with your trash or not? Why would they care? They don't care. And what about identity theft? Shred your paper. If you're throwing, if you're just taking your mail and going, oh, I'm done with this and throwing it away and you're not getting rid of the credit card applications or the other stuff, it doesn't matter if somebody's in your front yard taking your mail. They're going to get it from the dump. They're going to get it from wherever. Hell, even the garbage men might be pulling those things out if they're untouched. I, I <clears throat> Frankly, they should put a patrolman on it and ticket them all day. This is ridiculous. So now we want a police officer to stop going after rapist thieves and, and drunk drivers and go after people who go through other people's trash. Mm -mm. Why? Chocolate. Yeah, chocolate. <laughs> Normally I would say the police have bigger fish to fry, but it appears as if this woman and whoever drives the truck believe they can just take everything they want that is on the side of your cor curb with no regard for consequences. I've seen her on my street and she is pretty much like a vacuum cleaner. I'd give her my recyclables if that is all they came to make some money. But the wholesale sweep of cans on our, our streets really has to stop. Who cares? Do you have so, like, nothing to do with your life no. that all you want to do is Care. talk and, and, like, look out your window? There's that darn black truck again taking my trash. If they Dad. really... It just doesn't make any sense. It makes it sad. Also, just a really awful mentality towards your fellow man. Like this is obviously somebody who needs to go through the trash. Like they they are not financially well off enough that they need to go through people's trash for resources or things to use or sell or whatever. And it's like you threw it out. What do you care who picks it up and is able to use it? You think you'd just be grateful it's not in the in the landfill. Wow, the city needs to step in and do something. Hate the idea of them stealing my trash. But I also have dog poop scattered all throughout the can. Why? This doesn't matter. But you threw it out. This is a useless post. I have contacted Cerrito Sheriff, and they act like I'm the crazy one. They don't care about her. They don't care about her or protecting us from her. In extreme disappointed, oh, I'm sorry. I'm extremely disappointed in the law enforcement in this area after this whole debacle. Cerrito should use some of the city funds and create their own police department. We have a sheriff station. Why do we need a police department? It's obvious to me the con the contracted sheriff doesn't care if it won't make the news. This is really scary since people often throw out sensitive information. Identity theft is running rampant. Be careful, everyone. What if we had sharp items and she cuts herself? A lawsuit against us? Question mark, question mark, question mark. This is a capital big problem. And if it doesn't seem like there is no enforcement, but my family puts out our trash cans the morning of trash day. The only trash we put out is the green bin. Then finally, someone with some sense comes in and says, this was posted on the other thread. The US Supreme Court has ruled garbage, once left on the curb, is not protected private property under the Fourth Amendment of the Constitution. California versus Greenwood. Thanks, enlightened, smart Facebook commenter. Instead of being outraged that people are actively trying to repurpose our trash, maybe consider the other side. These people who need the resources or money so badly they're willing to go through our trash to find it. Whether it's recycling things we don't bother to take to recycling plants ourselves for the money, or items we throw away because we don't see the value in them anymore. Trash that would end up in the landfill. Why wouldn't you want someone who could get use out of the trash to use it? 
And instead of trying to use our taxpayer dollars to get our police to handle people rummaging through the trash, just make sure that you're taking responsibility for your own identity theft risk. Thank you, enlightened commenter. That is a beautiful, beautiful comment. Basically, what this all comes down to is distrust in your common man and somehow the idea that once you get rid of something that it somehow still belongs to you, once it leaves your house and you decide that you're going to throw it away, it's no longer your property. That's why sometimes cops go through trash cans be, for looking for evidence for crimes because it's legal to do so. If you decide to throw incriminating evidence, evidence of your identity, evidence of whatever out, and someone else gets it and they use it against you, that's really your own fault. And, and sure, they could be breaking a crime, a bit breaking a law in doing whatever it is they're trying to do to you, blackmail, etc. You're opening the door to that by not being responsible. The more irresponsible you are in these kind of handlings, you really have no one to complain about but yourself. And, and trying to say that the police should handle you being irresponsible is only getting more of what we have too much in this country already, waste. Waste in garbage, waste in tax money, waste in everything. If you're worried about this kind of thing, like actually worried that somebody is going through your trash, how about you take the time you spent, the number, and just put that towards shredding your documents. Buy a cheap shredder and just shred your documents. It's it's simple, it's, it's painless. You get a little bin, you, you throw the mail that you think is of concern in the little bin, and then at the end of the week before the trash comes, you shred it. Problem solved. It's not an issue. So let all this go. Stop with all this stuff. It's crazy talk and you're being crazy. All right, guys, that's all I have for today. I am so tired. It's already nine o'clock and all I want to do is go to bed. <laughs> we'll be back to normal tomorrow. I have a sore throat too. I can feel it in my voice. Does my voice sound weird? This whole, this whole vlog, I was just kind of like scratchy a little bit. Anyway, thanks a lot. I'll see you guys tomorrow.